Well, that bitter cold Arctic air has arrived. Now, by 6 o'clock yesterday, Afternoon yesterday evening, temperatures fell to the freezing mark and we will not climb above freezing until Wednesday afternoon. I hope you completed all of your cold weather preps yesterday. You've got those faucets dripping and you need to keep, you know, your cabinets open, those faucets dripping through at least Wednesday afternoon, very important. Now, if you have to be out and about early this morning, yes, temperatures are in the single digits along the Red River into the north and west. In the Metroplex, we've fallen into the teens, but our feels like temperatures, this is where things could get dangerous with most of us feeling in the single digits near zero and several sub freezing or sub zero wind chills in place to the north and northwest. Make sure you have covered any exposed skin before you head outside. I expect these wind chills to stay in the single digits all afternoon long. So I've actually uh, pulled back on our high temperatures slightly. I think we're going to have a hard time climbing into the low 20s. Most of us will top out in the upper teens, maybe 20, 20. 21 degrees this afternoon as low clouds start to build in from the south temperatures are going to have a hard time climbing in that cloud cover and so I want to show you these future wind chill values too again most of us feeling near zero through the first part of the day today and then later this afternoon I expect those single digit wind chills to hang around tonight we could also see those sub zero wind chill values as most of us will feel near zero once again and I had someone email me yesterday saying you know why are you so focused on the wind chill those feels like temperatures because that is so dangerous for humans yes I realize it's not the current ambient ambient temperature but anytime it impacts humans humans, we have to make sure that folks are prepared because anytime wind chills are below zero, hovering near zero, that is dangerous for any living, breathing thing. Now, satellite and radar this morning, we're starting to see an increase in cloud cover. One of the reasons why we fell so much overnight is because we actually saw clearing skies. As clouds build in, we're going to have a hard time climbing, which is why high temperatures will only be in the upper teens and low 20s. Here is the disturbance that we've been talking about. It moved on shore yesterday, continued towards the Rockies, and it'll be moving overhead across North Texas later today. Winter weather advisories in place starting at noon today through noon tomorrow. And this simply means that there is the potential for some sort of winter weather depending on where you live. So let's break it down. Again, that Arctic air is here. Wind chills are dangerous this morning. I wouldn't be surprised. This, this is the one update to the forecast from yesterday. I do think we will start to see the development of some patchy freezing drizzle, mainly across central Texas, but it could be very spotty across North Texas later today, probably after midday, continuing through the afternoon, but that coverage should stay pretty low, 10 to 20%. And then later on tonight, that light freezing rain and sleep mix becomes possible. I, I do think that that coverage will stay at about 50% through the overnight hours into Monday morning. So again, introducing the potential for that patchy freezing drizzle transitioning to more of a freezing rain sleep mix as the atmosphere cools down a little bit more as far as the temperature profile is concerned. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some light snow along the Red River into tomorrow morning as well. So. Our future cast showing just that after the sun sets later on tonight, starting to see an increase in coverage of that patchy sleet freezing uh, rain mixture. And I do think as far as the majority of North Texas is concerned, we're really going to be honing in on that potential for sleet. Now remember, although precip amounts are still expected to be fairly light, anything that falls into surfaces that are in the teens or low 20s, will have the potential to create hazardous travel. So again, mainly light snow later tonight into tomorrow morning along the Red River and a mix of freezing rain and sleet for the rest of us. And yeah, it is going to be bitter cold out of the Cowboys game later today. If your tailgating temperatures will be in the upper teens, we don't climb much by kickoff. 
And when you're leaving the game, be very careful. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of that freezing drizzle start to impact bridges and overpasses later on this evening. Tonight, that wintry mix becomes a little bit more likely, 40 to 50% coverage into tomorrow morning. We stay below freezing through Wednesday afternoon.